you'll ever see anywhere. Folks, it means so many things to so many people. But it is the greatest color combination God ever assembled on this great earth. Folks, right now, there are men and women who are overseas. They get up every morning and pick up a gun and go to work. They lay their lives on their lines each and every day and pay the sacrifice so that you and I can do the things that we, we know to love. We get up, we go to work every morning with a smile on our face and we don't worry about what might happen. Folks, it's been said many, many times that we're the land of the free because of the brave. And that's very true. And as those folks are overseas defending this nation, tonight I don't care if you're from Nebraska, Kansas, or Missouri, or if you're from right here in Iowa. I've got this one question for you, and I want you to answer me in a voice loud and clear. Who is proud to live in the United States? of America. Well, ladies and gentlemen, one of those freedoms that we know and love is the freedom of religion. Right now, we'd like to start this performance just as we do each and every other. So I'm going to ask that you stand with me if you haven't already. And gentlemen, renew cover for tonight's invocation. Our most gracious and heavenly Father, Tonight, Lord, we call to the midst of this festive occasion. And Father, we're mindful and thoughtful of the many blessings you bestow upon us, each and every one. And for the old cowboys, we don't ask for any special favors. We only ask that you let us compete in this arena as the last arena. We don't ask to never break a barrier, draw around a series that's hard to throw, a shoot riding horse, or a bull we know we cannot ride. We only ask that you let us compete as honest as the horses and bulls that we ride, and in a manner as clean and pure as the wind that blows across this great land of ours. So when we do make that last ride, that's inevitable for all of us to make. And that place up there where the grass grows, lush green and sure of high, and the water runs cool, clear and deep. You'll tell us as we ride in, come on in, cowboy or cowgirl. Your entry fees, they've been paid in full. And in these things we ask in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, along with one other. God bless the United States of America. Amen. Amen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with that, I'll turn the microphone over to a very talented lady with a beautiful voice. Yeah. Say hello, Miss Sam Moss, for tonight's National Anthem. So proudly we hailed at the twilight last week. Whose bright, bright and bright stars through the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly free. And the land of the free and the 